60 countries. Everybody watching this live, Kellen Lutz just showed up, Taylor Launder just showed up, Ashley Green just showed up, and they're Nikki all going to Nikki Reed gonna, as well. Nikki Reed, and they're all going to be on these stages for you guys. We're bringing this live for you. I hear we've got Ashley Green in just a couple of minutes. I'm I getting nervous. I can hardly wait. I can hardly wait either. I want to see what this guy does. He's going to get no, so nervous. He's going to pass about, out. Speaking oh, about Ashley goodness. Green, here she is right here. Ashley, Ashley Green. Green. Hi, this guy has been so nervous oh, and excited up. about your interview all night long. Absolutely. As long as you don't pass out, Michael, I think I'm not going to okay. pass out. I mean, you're absolutely gorgeous, oh, and uh, congratulations with all the success. Thank you. What's the best memory you're going to take from this whole series? I mean, probably a little bit of that. A little bit of that over action there. over there? Yeah, I, almost, I literally almost started crying. I was like, don't do it. Not yet, not yet. The mascara is not waterproof. Um, but yeah, I mean, the fans are just... They're so incredible, and it's like the most amazing thing, I think, you know, four years later to see that they're so passionate and they still love us and they're still kind of our cheerleaders. So now, I miss that a little. Now, in the film, there's a big twist, and I heard it took six weeks to shoot the finale, the, the big battle scene. How was that going through that? And That's did it come out exactly how you wanted it? Part of it was my fault, probably, because I think in the middle of it, I hurt my knee, and they're like really green. Really? Um, so, yeah, we had to wait for that. I think Kristen broke something, like her thumb or something, in the middle of it. So, um, it was intense. It was a lot. I mean, there was like 100 vampires, but um, I actually haven't seen it yet. You have it. It's no? amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm really excited to see it tonight with all my friends and family. I think it's kind of special. It is totally epic. Um, and we have a very special question for you from the Yahoo fans. Was it hard saying goodbye on the last day of filming? That's from a Yahoo fan. Um, it was and it wasn't. We were excited, I think, to get back to our own beds because we'd been filming for seven months and it kept getting pushed. Um, but yeah, once they actually wrapped, you know, that's a wrap on Alice, I was like, wow, okay, you kind of don't know what to do or how to act. And I, I don't know, I called my mom and was like, well, that's that, I guess. So, uh, <laughs> all right. But it was, um, you know, I think that we've had such a good run and we're in such a positive place. And we got to finish out our franchise, which a lot of people don't get to do. So I'm very positive about it. All right. Big things for you in the future. That's right. Since it is all about the fans, we have a fan cam right here. Just say a thank you special to the fans yes, that are watching live. Of course. Hi, guys. Um, thank you. Thank you so much for everything. You're really, truly incredible. The best fans in the world. I don't care what anybody else says. Um, and we love you. We love you so much. So thank you. Thank right, you, Ashley. Thank you. Have a wonderful have a time night. tonight. Thank you. Be careful All with right, that let's dress. let's keep this thing moving. Let's <laughs> throw it over to stage two with Amy Paffrath and Carly. What's up, girls? Oh, hey, guys. admiring how beautiful Ashley looks. Yes, she looks Ashley stunning. Looks amazing. Um, we are joined, of course, by the director of Breaking Dawn Part 1 and to Mr. Bill Connor. We are so excited you're here. What I love about you, Bill, is the fact that you stay true to the books with these films, but then yeah. add an extra edge, like with Breaking Dawn Part 1, the right. nightmare sequence. Yes, yes. And then with this movie. Yeah not to give anything away, something yeah. special for fans at the end. Yeah. Tell us about that. Well, we do have a we do have a twist in this movie, and we do want to keep it secret, but that's why I'm so excited about tonight, because we have 8,000 fans in the theater, and they're going to be seeing it, and they don't know what it is. So I'm nervous, but I'm really excited. I hope it works. You know, and at the end, too, there was a way I really wanted, because it's the end of the whole series, and people care about it so much, to really kind of slowly let it go, you know? So there's a... There's a shout out to all the other movies at the end that I hope people, uh, you know, are, you know, enjoy. I gotta say, well done with the twist. It pays off. It's amazing. You guys, you're not gonna believe what you see. I have to ask you, what was the most difficult scene to shoot and why? You know what? It was the big on the field. All these 120 vampires get together, and we shot it for like two months or so. So people got, you know, these great actors turned into extras, you know, because yeah. it was only one person at a time. So that was that was massive logistics challenge totally, yes well yeah. now we'd love to give you the opportunity to say hello and thank you to all of the fans right. out there on the thank you the fan thank you fam. Oh, great. take it away bill thank you so much it's been an amazing and unique experience to make this movie because of the fans because you always knew that what you were doing was was so closely kind of monitored and that at the other end of it tonight and from here on in there are people who care so deeply about it and love it waiting to see it thank you I think you did the fans proud. Guys, keep tweeting us with Breaking Dawn Live. Tell us what you want us to ask everyone. Bill, enjoy the night. I'm sure lots of the cast would love to be reunited and say hello to you. Congratulations. Okay. Well, we're going to check in with the other end of the carpet, Taryn and Michael. What's going on? We're just hanging out with the man, Kellen Lutz. What's up, bro? Oh, my God. We're here. <laughs> we're here. It's finally here. This is exciting. It, you know, it's, a lot, it's the first year I can actually, like, absorb it because you get... 
a lot of practice. It's been four years of this. Right. And for the first couple of years, it's just a daze, and then now you're like, I can absorb. This is amazing. <laughs> it is. I mean, it, it's for You can really see it in your face. Like, you're, you're blown away just standing here watching, seeing all the fans, all the cameras. <laughs> Thank we you, have, man. Yeah. We, uh, we have a, a, a question from a Yahoo fan for you. If you could give yourself one piece of advice before you started filming the first Twilight, what would it have been? Buy, buy a... a 5D camera, like buy a nice camera, take pictures, because I'm one of those guys who would just take the disposable ones. Oh, no. And I lose them. And I never get them developed for years. I actually have a couple that I found. But um, I wish I had a nice camera to, to capture all these moments. Is there, is there any other character you would have wanted to play? If you didn't play your character, what other character would you want to do? Arrow. Yeah. All right. Arrow is badass. He's the bad guy, but Michael Sheen plays him. I think it's because how brilliant Michael Sheen plays on that I would love to try and try and play that character he's a fun role thank you awesome. so much Kellen have a great time tonight take it all in man uh, I know that uh, we've uh, got somebody with Amy right over yeah. at the social stage yes, we have someone we have someone so special and amazing Miss Dakota Fanning how are you I'm great how are you great you look stunning tonight thank you thank tell you. us about your dark hair I, a lot of people are like is that Dakota Fanning it's not yes did. I um, decided it was time for a change, and for the character I was playing, I needed, I couldn't be, I couldn't be a blonde, so. <laughs> well, it suits you. It's you look nice beautiful. You. And this gown, we have to talk about this amazing emerald gown. It looks gorgeous next to your new brown hair. That's what I thought. It was yeah. all about the hair. The dress choice, like, was totally dependent on my hair color, so. And it does change what you wear, doesn't yeah. it, as a woman? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Who are you wearing? Give them a shout-out. Uh, Ellie Saab. Nice. Now, a lot of the fans, of course, know you from the Volturi as one of the evilest bloodsuckers out there. <laughs> is, was that such a fun role for you to play? It was. It was so fun. It was, um, it's so nice to just kind of let go and know that your character is mean and just be evil and, you know, have fun with it. So that's she what I did. a pretty hardcore eyeliner as well. In she film. did. Yeah, <laughs> she did. Her, the costume this time around was pretty intense, too. Like well, I gotta say, we know what ends. We've seen the film. It's amazing. Um... We've, we've got to say that there's a nice little twist in there, and Jane might get what's coming to her. What do you think? Oh, um, oh. yeah, no, there's definitely twisty turns, and um, I think that's exciting for the last one. You need a surprise. Everyone has read the book set by now, and our fans, and it's very true to the book, but, you know, it's a little something extra. I like it. <laughs> Well, on our poll, actually, that I was reading earlier, uh, the majority of people were saying they felt you were the biggest badass character on the saga. So oh, you're doing something wow. right, Dakota. I just That's wanted really to share cool. that with you. Oh, I appreciate yes. that. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty nice. It's good to be bad, right? It is. It good is good sometimes. Yes. <laughs> I can see you taking home some of that golden popcorn at an MTV Movie Awards oh, in your future nice. for Biggest Badass <laughs> right here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, before we go, we want to give you the opportunity to say thank you to the fans. So oh, right into yeah. the fans. Thank you so much to everyone who's a fan of the story. I'm a fan myself, so um, I'm excited to be here and excited to share it with all of you, and thank you for being so loyal. Well, you did justice to a very well-known character. Thank you for stopping by. All right. Bye. I believe Kristen Stewart has arrived, the lady of the hour. Let's see what she's wearing. Tara to Michael. What do you got? Oh, my God. The screams that we just heard were deafening. No, we have to paint the picture here. Both <laughs> black SUVs pull up at the same time. Everybody knows who's getting out of them. And I love the way Rob got out. He yeah. kind of got out, yeah. put on his jacket, and was like, gave himself like a fresh, like. <sighs> Robert Pattinson, and yeah. within five seconds, Kristen Stewart trailing right behind Absolutely. him. And they're going to go over there to the fan stands now to autograph and take what, photos with the fans. Can you tell what Kristen's wearing from here? I can't see it. It is gorgeous. It's a nude, a floor-length gown. I can't tell the actual designer. I'm not that fashionable. Now, let me, let me ask this. Was I wrong, but is Rob wearing all green? Was I wrong uh, when his suit was green? Or maybe I'm colorblind. I don't I, know. Are you seeing things? You're I don't hallucinating. know. Did you not see that? Am no, I hallucinating? I okay, no, maybe I'm By the way, if you're green, if you're right, then... then I don't know. You I've win, seen a, it you a couple times. I've something. seen it on the carpet already a couple of times, but I'm so excited to bring them to you, uh, bring uh, Rob and Kristen right here live, yeah. and also Taylor is going to yeah, be coming Taylor's up too. Yeah, Taylor's going to be coming up too. By the way, Taylor. guys, if you have specific questions you want us to ask, the top three most Yahoo searched yes. characters. It's true. These guys have been searched more in the past seven days than anyone. Rob, Kristen, and Taylor. Then send us the questions. Have
Hashtag Breaking Gun Live. We and yeah, and Carly's over there. We have Pat Raff on the second stage. We have this carpet covered. Nine different cameras, every angle. <laughs> Any angle you can think possible, we have for you. We're bringing you the black carpet live right here. Here's what I want to know. What? Do you think Kristen Stewart is wearing sneakers underneath that long dress? <laughs> you know, that's a good question because I know you would if you could. I to Are you kidding me? It's all about comfort. It is all about comfort and warmth. That, that, that is true because <laughs> you can't see her feet, but she's wearing Uggs right now. I'm not supposed like, to reveal. <laughs> I had on. No, show them the shoes. She's wearing Ugg right now, but look at her shoes. They're kind of They're awesome, fierce. but after three hours, I just, I'm sorry. Got, oh, we're actually going to go there. Oh, we're actually going to go there. Uggs? They revealed, <laughs> they revealed the Hollywood secret there you go. of red there you go. carpet hosts. We're looking um, at we're looking at Taylor yeah. Lautner walk over right now. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. From the streets to the carpet, we got all the celebrities. We got every cast member. And you're watching Taylor meet fans. And this is what's so meet great about... Meet fans get mobbed by Mo fans. It's true. It's true. But, you know, this is what's so great about the cast. They realize it's all about the fans. And they yeah. really are good and, and feel bad when they can't get to I every know. fan. I remember last year, it was Kristen or Rob, and one of them said they wish that they could spend more time with the fans and less time in front of the cameras. Yeah. Because I take these photographs and do these interviews all day long, but... These guys have been sleeping out for five days. They build mannequins in their house devoted to them. Paintings, posters, scrapbooks. The amount of Anything devotion can, and dedication is unprecedented. So. And you're not going to be disappointed when you see this movie. There is a big twist. Everybody knows about it. You just heard the director talk about it. And it took six weeks to shoot, and we're learning more and more people got hurt as they yeah. were shooting this. Yeah. I mean, a six-month shoot was pretty insane. Yeah. Two years ago... It's really fun to see them reunite here. Yeah, six months shoot, but for the last scene, six weeks by itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Unbelievable. And in two different locations. They had to film that battle scene in British Columbia and in Louisiana. So they had to, like, rebuild the whole thing twice. I don't know. It sounds like a lot of complicated film stuff And what we're doing me. right now is we're showing footage of uh, Robert and Kristen meeting all the fans, hanging out with all the fans before they make their way to our stage over here. I'm just in awe myself. Like, I keep not looking at the camera. I keep looking back. By the way, I feel bad. I never even asked you. You asked me the question, werewolf or vampires. What about you, Oh, man? I would totally be a vampire. I no, think, no, no, no. Oh, what? Well. Would you, I, you asked me whose team I'm on. Oh, I'm, a, uh, I'm all about Edward. All right. You know, Edward. I'm, a, I'm the romantic. <laughs> Wait, what can I say? I'm the romantic, you know? Hopeless romantic. Yeah, I am a hopeless romantic. So, you know, that's, that, that's me. I wish that you would have pulled out the stops and just proposed a date to Ashley Green while she I was know. standing here tonight. And let me tell you, in this movie, Ashley Green looks so amazing. And on the red carpet, absolutely amazing. But, like, wow. Are you through. mad that I called you out? Yes, I'm kind of <gasps> mad. Now I think you ruined my chances forever. Oh, no. Uh, I think it was better that I was aggressive and just, you know, I let her know of your love and your feelings. <laughs> I mean, she would have walked away otherwise and had no idea. At least now. At least it's in her mind, like, right? Yeah. All right. We're talking 160 countries all around the world watching this right now. You could be a part. Yes, you watching right now could be a part. All you got to do is hashtag us, Breaking Dawn Live, getting lots of great questions. Even on our Twitters, at Michael Yo. And at Taryn Southern. And people are now calling me an Ashley Stalker. I've already read a couple of those. So thank you very much, <laughs> I'm Taryn. I'm sorry, for Michael. Starting Yo. That. So Yo. starting that now. I'll stop.